coding a Minecraft mod every single day for 100 days while in hardcore mode while I'm trying to beat the game. I can do that. Day one, I want to start with the mods that affect the beginning of the game the most and then work through to the end of the game. Also, at around 50 days in, I realized all the mods that I hand coded myself were largely incompatible with each other, so I'm going to be using MC Creator to help me out. All right, what's the first thing that you do when you spawn into a world? You get wood, right? To get a wooden pickaxe. I changed that. Now you have to kill a wooden pickaxe to get a wooden pickaxe. The only way that makes sense. Day one, mod one, done. Quick, but I've got a lot to do. Day two. Now I need a biome to build my base in, but you know me, I'm gonna make my own. I want this to look like a place where you could settle down in. Also, hell. Air color? Yeah, let's go with red. Tree stem? Okay, railroad tracks. Vines? How about, yeah, torch. Oh my god, I see it already. Okay, I'm gonna set up my base on top of this hill. Build a nice green top. Beautiful. However, it is getting towards night and I need food. And what better food than those potatoes that come in a carton? Specifically, the kind from Costco. Do you know what I'm talking about? Probably not. This is good, right? This is what they look like? No. And what do you get when you break potatoes? Hash browns. I called them potato spuds accidentally. I'm not gonna change it. Whatever. Then I went home and realized that I needed to make some better weapons to defend myself, so I made a comically large sword. Three times as powerful as the normal sword. On the fifth day, I started a mine and then made myself a full set of comically large tools. I just love the digging animation. I dug out a basement for my green top and then went mining. I didn't know what to make this day, so I made emerald blocks spawn in the ground. Do they drop emeralds? Nope. They drop turtles. I don't know why. I need to smelt my iron. What am I going to use? Coal? No. Diorite. Then I made a new pickaxe because my old one was too slow. Yup. Yup. Just like that. That's exactly what I was going for. Oh my god. I built a wall around my property, got some shears, and went into the ocean to get seagrass to craft my armor. Turtle armor because I don't know why. Next, I stuck around my property to do some housekeeping before I could adventure anywhere. I added a new painting to the game and a new song, as well as a new block, death. I had a lot of homework that day. It was also time for my first bow and arrow, but we don't use bows and arrows around here. I'm gonna make a glass of water. Is it a normal glass of water? No, it's an instrument of death. I want it to look like one of those halo cups, you know? Honey, we have guests pull out the fine china. Yeah, this is the coolest thing I've ever made. Death on impact. Finally, it's time to go exploring. I wanted to do some practice before we go to the nether, so I added a randomly spawning structure. I grabbed my tools and my weapons and I ventured to the taiga biome to find Among Us. Nature is beautiful. I added a new potion that would help us in the nether and went back home. On my way back, I realized that I needed a dog, so I made one myself. I then brought him inside and expanded my wall. I dug down to Y11 and I gave myself a weapons upgrade. This time, I'm making a spoon. Don't question it. We do need something to test it out on though, so I'm gonna add some more mobs into the game. My favorite pastime. I want these to look cursed, okay? Just lower this, set this on top. Yeah. Horse, more athletic. All right, let's go find these. Yeah, I also added the trident as an entity, which is surprisingly terrifying. The minecart, I think, makes a nice addition to the game. See, this is what I wanted. It's just cursed. How does this have six legs? I didn't, I didn't even make that. Not upset about it. Then I went home because it was finally time to head to the nether. Before I left, I made a new disc. Then got my tools together to find obsidian. Do we go for a lava pool? No, we go for the obsidian biome. All right, here we go. I built a small wall just to be safe. I have so much in store. I decided it would be better if food spawned in the nether, so I added breadsticks. Not just any breadsticks, breadsticks from Olive Garden. First of all, I did change the blazes to just ahead, and I made them spawn everywhere, along with iron golems, and I made them attack everything. It's a simple yet drastic change. Complete chaos just what I wanted. I also added another spawnable structure, but I cannot find it. Hello gamers, it's me from the future. I found the overworld, but it's in the void. Then I killed the blazes and made my way back home. I arrived back in my base the next day and expanded my property some more. I removed my old wall, I built up a new one, I laid down some dirt, and I started on my chest room. I created a new entity that would just keep creepers away. They're just gonna be small gas, and they're just gonna spawn everywhere. I gave myself a netherite pickaxe because I didn't want to work for one, and I added some new skeletons that just kill skeletons, and I decided it was time for us to start farming. What are we gonna make? Normal foods? No. What's the easiest thing to make? Probably chicken nuggets, right? Double gulp slurpee cup. Agriculture is the future. Travis Scott Fortnite meal. Taquitos. Great American farming. Beautiful. To finish up some odds and ends, I made use out of death by making it into a storage block, and I also ran out of coal, so I added oil to Minecraft. 
finally. And I made G Fuel a naturally spawning liquid. I wanted one that could do damage too, so I added gamer subs. Lastly, to replenish our wood supply, to expand our base, I added a wood dimension where everything is wood. We're getting real creative out here. You also can't place water. There's two things that we need to do next. The first is more important, we need to find the pillager outpost. The second, I want to get to the Aether, and to make it historically accurate, there's a lot that it needs. To prepare, we need a lot more weapons. A trebuchet, a beautiful weapon, a brand new glass of water, this time it explodes on impact. To defend myself when I get there, I made an anti-pillager that just attacks pillagers. To find the outpost though, we need to move fast, so we need a car. Yeah, yeah, you got the windshield, you got the car walls. Alright, let's go. They stand no chance against my spoon. Boom, boom. Yeah, some of these. Oh no, my car is on fire. Alright, here we go. Okay, all that for this. I've been scammed. Alright, let's get out of here. Before I go though, okay, it's time to go to the Aether. The crown jewel of 2014 Minecraft YouTube. Over the next few days, I gave myself some new tools. Spoon shovel, fork pickaxe, knife axe, and spork sword. I added in some gamer subs and G fuel as like golden apples. Then traveled back to the nether to get glowstone and built the portal at my base. The moment of truth. Oh my god, it's real. All right, let's go. Wow, beautiful. I don't know why I gave it that animation. <laughs> But behind beauty lies brain aneurysms because there's a lot of danger here. I added in Chris. He looks nice, but he does nothing except kill. He's the boss of the Aether. I am not in a good position. Oh my god, he does a lot of damage. I forgot I gave him that. He stands no chance against my G Fuel, Spoon, and Trebuchet. I bet you've never heard that sentence before. Yeah, get out of my lobby. Also, take this. After getting home, I went mining again and added edible iron and turned death into a new light source. I added a new fishing pole, the St. Croix Graphite 3000 from Dick's Sporting Goods, and finally added IKEA desk to the game. And I got ready to raid a mansion, my final exploration before the end. What I really need is a flamethrower, one of those sick white ones. And now that I have a car, I also need a plane. Yeah, yeah, like this. What, what airline does this remind you of, correct? Spirit Airlines. All right, let's go raid this mansion. Oh my God. At this point, the world generation is just so messed up. All right, let's go. Move, boom, get out of here. I also made furnaces and chests spawn as entities that we have to defeat. Surprisingly uh, terrifying, the chicken. I need a trophy from here. All right, let's smoke this. We did it, we did it, we saved the mansion. After getting home, I decided I wanted to do some odds and ends while I had the time before we prepare for the end. I wanted to see what the smallest pot possible rideable entity was. Oh my god. Oh my god. And added Garfield, a new poster, Among Us, replaced the wandering trader with the IRS, and put Hero Brian back in the game. He only spawns in caves. I then tested some more weapons, cereal, if it doesn't explode it's not a weapon, and a boof stick, which just says knockback 1000 but it's really fun. Alright, it's time to prepare for the end. We need an armor upgrade because while ours is cool it doesn't even do full protection. What's that drip Goku? guy yeah something like this oh we got the hair he's got the looney tune shoes tom ford pants and that supreme t-shirt absolutely dripping i made a new ranged item a grenade launcher that i decided we were only going to use in extreme cases because it can easily kill me i added a new energy drink bang and then upgraded the totem to filza i also added the glizzy as our last line of defense for the ender dragon and lastly i decided that i would upload all the mobs i've previously made for other videos just to make everything look as cursed as possible before I leave. Sheep, cod, squid with face, skeleton, pig, chicken, enderman, llama, phantom, zombie, creeper, ghast, iron golem, piglin, and lastly cat chicken. Well, it's finally time to go to the end. I gathered my weapons and wished my base and Garfield and G Fuel goodbye. All right, car, let's go. Here we go. Arriving at the end portal, I added some entities to protect me, including me. He follows and attacks Enderman. Iron golems that also attack Enderman. A roundup weed killer that kills weeds and nothing else. And finally added the copper golem because he deserved it. All right, here we go. I did add some more to the end though. Withers now spawn in the end along with multiple ender dragons and hero brine. Just like Avengers Endgame. Come on guys, protect. This is just chaos. Boom, get out of here. Oh, boom, there we go. And for the last two days, subscribe and follow on Twitch. Goodbye.